Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out this Travel Vision. Uh, it's a little TV and a radio. I got Monkey here beside me. The, inf the infamous or famous, not sure which, probably infamous, uh, Monkey is next to me. So let's check this out. Let's talk about it a little bit and we're going to see if it works. Okay guys, so <clears throat> this thing is pretty cool. It's the Panasonic model number TR-1020P and it is the Travel Vision. So up here we've got a couple buttons. We've got UHF, VHF, you've got the uh, FM and AM for the radio and you got stereo and mono. Okay, and here's your little screen. Here's your dial for the TV. Okay. And there's your uh, UHF and VHF there. This is your little headphone jack. And this screen is a one and a half inch diagonal screen. <laughs> um, now I've seen some guys doing these on YouTube. I watched on YouTube. I watched a couple guys. Um, these things are pretty neat. One guy's got like four or five of them, and he's got it hooked up to where they they will work. Um, <clears throat> But you gotta have a uh, a um, digital converter to uh, convert it from digital to analog. Now, I'm gonna see if I got one. I may have one, and if I do, we'll uh, we'll try to get this thing working. Now, also, this came with some extra stuff originally um, that, of course, I did not get. I just got this part of it. It came with a uh, with the DCN. DC, DCN was that uh, six volt right there? It came with one of them to plug into your wall, or it all and it also came with a car charger that you would plug into your cigarette lighter, um, which I don't have. These things also had a little thing you slid right over here, right in this little groove here, and this little groove right here you slid it in and it would magnify it a little bit uh, so uh, there's a price tag on here 10 bucks but I gave five dollars for it um, and I got a 10% discount and here November 1982 um, so we'll go over some of the buttons here this is for your radio tuning this is your volume up and down button right here and radio tuning and you got your contrast your bright that's your H hold your vertical hold and your height that was for the TV um, the antenna is in perfect condition this is usually the first thing to get broke on these old radios so that's pretty cool um, and there's the model number and it is a, a 6 volt I'm going to focus ok so now what we're going to do and here's your little stand stands up like that I've got four uh, AA batteries here also it came with a with a battery uh, rechargeable battery um, I, you know, this is what I got with it, so this is what we're going to use. Um, but for less than five bucks, I thought it was really cool. And put our batteries in here. <clears throat> and the guy I was watching YouTube, um, his battery actually still would hold a charge up to 15 minutes. That's amazing. You know, and his was 1982 as well. I think his was uh, June, July, something like that. It was 1982, and this one is in November, so it was identical to this. Also, they had like cases. They had uh, like a leather-bound case. Uh, some of these were leather-bound, um, but I think they were the newer ones. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn it on to radio first. We're going to pull this out. 
Okay, I see the light there, right up here. So hopefully no music comes through. Let's go ahead and turn this up. This would work through here, whether you want to mono or stereo. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's go ahead. Like I said, if the TV works, it's still not going to pick up anything, and it's not going to pick up anything because they don't have analog anymore. It's all digital. So, but let's go ahead and turn the TV on here. It's got static, and there's the TV. And you had UHF or VHF right there, and this was where you adjusted for your TV channels. Let's turn this down a little bit too. So it does work. But if you get it, for those of you that don't know, they did away with the analog, you know, to work with antennas. It's all digital now. So that's why it's not picking up anything. But if I had a converter, it would be picking up, you know, what it does is uh, converts digital signals into analog, analog signals. So this could, can pick up the channel. So, but that's pretty cool. It still works. That's amazing, isn't it? Mm hmm almost what going on 40 years old now yeah yeah wow this thing is amazing so yeah guys um this is pretty cool uh, i think i'm gonna hang on to this for a little bit it's pretty neat um it's just a, everything about it's really cool uh, i'd like to have the other pieces to it but i'm good with this this is this is awesome. There are a couple blemishes. I seen one right here. There's a blemish there. And I see one on the chrome underneath here somewhere. There's a couple little blemishes. You gotta look pretty hard. But as you can see, it's not scuffed up real bad. I mean it is it's got some natural wear on it, but it hasn't been beat up. Usually these things got beat up because people threw them around, they took them camping. There's some scratches on the back of here. That's to be expected, like this tag has been ripped. Um, but all in all, this thing is, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I like it, what do you think, Bunk? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fairly decent shape, so yeah, I mean, it's amazing, Panasonic. TV, AM, FM, stereo receiver. And again, it's the Travel Vision, but it's the model number TR-1020P. DC 6 volt at 1.8 watts. What's that saying? It was made in Japan. What's that? Mm. Matsushita <laughs> Electric Industrial Company Limited. It's right here. But um, as far as the specs go, I had to look all the specs up. I can't find these for sale anywhere. No. But they're out there because, you know, guys are making YouTube videos on them, but I can't see. I, I couldn't find any for sale. But on the screen right now, you'll see the specs that I did get off the internet so you can know a little bit more about it um, and pause it if you want to and read some of it. But, the, I mean, it's just really cool and really neat. And I think uh, that's a nice little addition to my collection. What do you think, Monkey? Yeah. So, I had to have it. <laughs> Didn't I, Monk? Yeah. Monkey's over here. So, where are you going Tuesday? I don't know. Okay. 
All right, well, I guess we're not going anywhere. All right, Shea Bear, the Myth the Man of Legend, I'm gone for now. Where are you going? We're going to Crystal River, and we're going to go see the monkeys. We're going to go see the monkeys. Yeah. Okay, so there's a place over there called Monkey Island. There's a bunch of monkeys on this island. Right. You can't go to the island, but there's a, a pizza joint over there. We're going to go check out, and I guess we can see the monkeys from there so i'll bring this yeah. camera really zoom in so she can get some good footage and stuff so stay tuned for that yeah. um but anyway for real this time <laughs> shea bear the myth man a legend i'm gone for now monk monkey says yourself for now bye thanks for watching guys appreciate it have a great week we'll see you soon bye bye